Hello, this is Joe McGee with Fighting for Families Radio. We're talking about money and marriage and about life. The thing is, you got to find out is what, is, what does money mean to you and what does it mean to your spouse? You know, when I got married, I fell in love. I found the love of my life. Man, we loved everything. We loved the same John Wayne movies, the same shrimp and, you know, and ketchup. We loved the same thing of everything. And all of a sudden, after a few weeks of marriage, we started talking about money and material things. We realized we were not in agreement at all. What, what one thing meant to her did not mean it to me. And I realized something. Men see money as freedom. Women see money as security. Two complete. Using the same words, but evidently we're using two different dictionaries. And some of our biggest fights in our family has been over money. I remember we sold a piece of land one time for $10,000. We were uh, just quit my job as an engineer. We're going back to Bible school. We got like three minimum wage jobs between the two of us. And I get this $10,000 check in the mail. Been trying to sell this piece of land for some time. And we jumped up and down. We thanked Jesus. We just did a sermon assault in the living room. I said, okay, load up. And he said, what? Load up. Let's get in the truck. She said, where are we going? I said, we're going to go get that bass boat we've been looking at every Sunday after church. We're going to the lake. And I got excited. And the kids jumped up and down. We're going out the door. Denise just stood there. She said, we're not wasting $10,000 on a bass boat. We ain't wasted. I've been believing God for seven months for a bass boat. No, Joe, we're not wasting that money on a bass boat. I said, baby, I'm not wasting. I've been believing God for this. No, Joe. I said, what do you think we're going to do with the $10,000? She said, we're going to put braces on two kids' teeth. I said, I'm not wasting $10,000 on somebody's mouth. Grow up, get a job, fix your own teeth. She brought my youngest daughter over at the time. She said, come here. She said, smile for your daddy. And she did. She said, Joe, if you don't want this girl living with us, she's 35, you better fix that mouth because no man's going to marry that mouth. My daughter has beautiful teeth today. Great smile. I never get a bass boat. Now, I realized something early. When we talked about money, we see it completely different. What does it mean to you? So if we're not visiting on a regular basis, so I tell couples all the time, you really ought to sit down once a year for a big budget for the year. What do you believe in God for this year? Number two, every month, what's going on, what just happened, and every week. What's coming up this week? Well, we got this, this, and this. Because you realize, kids got a soccer tournament. That's not a big deal, except it's in another town. You're going to need a hotel, $40 in gas, a lot of McDonald's. And you realize, oh my goodness, that's the $300 weekend. That wasn't in the budget. And so all of a sudden, you got to start talking. You want to do this. You want to go to mom's. You want to go to a tournament. Everything has a dollar figure. So all of a sudden, when you start talking to one another, you'll quit fighting. You'll start praying more. And God will supply more need. You'll be a happier couple, I promise you.